This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Nice! Perfect! Oh, you look like a champion in there. You work with your hands. She's starting to fall apart. Good, good, good. Great. Hey, great. Great boxing damage. Okay? Good job. Come on now. You got 30. Oh, wow. That punch damaged her. Right? That's what we need. Power. Keep going. Excellent job today. Better than last time, and it'll be better. All right, let's see what you got today. Speed and power, that's it. That's it, now, right there. Okay. This is how we train to win the belt. Good combination work. Come on. Let's go. 30 on the clock. Done. Really nice technique in there. Everything comes from the hip. Always snap. Come on now. Let's get in there and get after it today. Just like that every time. Come on. I love it. She's got nothing against your takedowns. Let's go. That's it now, right there. <sighs> hey.
Hey, hey, come on. Let's work on that takedown defense. Show me. That's the way to shut him down. And 30 to go. It's okay. You show some good progress to My clock doesn't stop until you submit her. Let's go. No, 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 no. You can't stall, all right? You got to be dominant. Come on now. Get out of there! Hey, good job getting out of that sub. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, well done. Perfect setup. Finish now. Come on now, you got 30. Good job, yes. Submission is close. Hey, submit. Ah, good attempt. Hey, that was a good attempt. Keep trying, all right? And the tap will come. Here we go. Nice work, kid. You're on your way to some high-level BJJ.
Today, I want to see you sharp and quick. Great combo. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it up. Today, you did awesome. I want to see your skills right now. Let's get in there and push. Pinpoint! Let's get after it. Beautiful combination. Uh-huh, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Put the pressure on her. Let's go. Great job. technique. All right, you had a little trouble today, but don't worry about it. We're gonna get better. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Yes, those punches are adding up. See? Big punch. Yes, 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 yes. What a bruise. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, wow. 
that punch damaged him, right? That's what we need. Power. Keep going. Don't stop now. All right, let's get in there. Let's push yourself today. Let's see what you got. <laughs> wow. Wow, that kick damaged him. Yes. Keep going. I love it. Doing great. Next one. Make it happen. Nice job. Don't stop now. You got 30 seconds. It's okay. You show some good progress to
Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC women's bantamweight division title. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. the Women's Bantamweight Championship fight here. Sold out crowd, and all eyes, of course, are on the champion. She won the belt to become the new champion. Now her first title defense. Now the question beckons. Is she good enough to hold on to this belt and take on all comers and take on number one contender types one after the next? First title defense here and now. We'll see how it goes for the number one 135-pound woman in the world. Tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. It's a first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, six losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Presenting the challenger, Juliana, the Venezuelan, Vixen Pena. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, no losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. Russia. UFC belt online. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? Here we go with this women's bantamweight championship fight. Round one of a possible five is underway. The champion trying to defend the title for the first time. She took the belt away earlier this year, and now her focus on being the longest reigning bantamweight champion in UFC history. We saw recently this belt change hands quite a bit. She says, now that I have it, I'm not giving it up. We'll see if she can get off to a good start tonight. Both fighters get up now. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Nice straight punch. And they separate. Well, she said she was going to go to the takedown early, and she goes right to it, and it's there. So a good sign that she's able to get this fight to the ground where she wants it. She said when and where she decides she was going to be able to secure takedown. 
She does exactly that very early in the first round. That's a beautiful jab by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up. If you fight behind such a beautiful jab, eventually you drop the right There's hand. The shot. There's Good another night. takedown by Penny. Oh, and she's back up again. Nice job to post the hand and get back to her feet. Great point. Kick to the body by Pena. Back in the clinch oh, now. The clinch right now, but instead she goes to the trip to get the takedown. She's got a lot of different takedowns in her arsenal in those clinch situations and promptly executed the trip there. She's great at body manipulation. Yeah. When you think she's taking you right, she takes you left. You step right, you step left, she's tripping you. She is a phenomenal double leg shot. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Oh, and with urgency, she is back up again. Kenya gets caught with that punch. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Oh, there's another knee. Her knees have been on point, really, from the moment this fight began. She has landed several in this round, and now you can see she is really starting to rack up the damage. So pretty good volume with the knees there in that exchange. Just damaging knee after knee. It's hard oh, to big watch. knee! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? goes in and secures the takedown. She blocked the punch. Nice punch lands over the top. Back and forth we go. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Take down. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Nice hammer fist. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. And they separate. Kenya's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice shot, good body. All right, so there she goes, taking the fight to the ground yet again. She looked you right in your eye at our fighter meeting on Thursday. She said, I'm going to be able to take her down at will, and largely that's how it's played out. She said we were going to be impressed, and to this point, I really have been. She has done a great job of mixing up the takedowns, mixing up the attempts, and getting the fight exactly where she wants. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Kenya. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. She lands a kick there. She might be the best kicker in this division. She may just be the best kicker in this entire division. She does a great job of using that as a way to dominate a fight. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job. But not only is she active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. What a punch. Go for She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish the fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling should really be entertaining. Oh, nice! Oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is, so the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. Is this young woman high volume of strikes in the there. I'm not 
not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy tonight. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. Oh, massive knee to the head. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, oh! Straight right. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Well, she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, the double leg would be there. It was certainly there. Oh, Pena's looking for that arm triangle now. She postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Go Watch on. for the huge elbows that she's known for. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the grounded pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're gonna lay on their backs and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here, just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't fault her here, she's doing a nice job. Oh, and she gives up her back here, Dees, going for that patented rear naked choke now. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep, there you go. Full guard now, DC, she's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up submissions to try to put her opponent on awareness. And these submissions will be used to reverse the position. Even if it gets defended, it will create space for her to try to get back to her feet or maybe to steal a sweep and trick her opponent. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass her full guard right into half guard. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. Wow. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Punch over the top. Persistence paid off, Chip. Persistence pays off. She is a cardio machine. So in order now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here.
the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of there. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually, that's enough to end the fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. All right, well, she made the takedown a thing of beauty in that first round. We'll see if she can pick up where she left off. And she has to, because if she is forced to stand here, she's going to have a very difficult long... Oh! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Look at that great work to the body. Nice entry directly into the fence. Nice take. Now it's hard to slip under the neck. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, we're getting a finish here. She's got her in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the bottom fighter, nothing advantageous. Oh, nice headlock. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. She's got side control now. Maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her. Now, in the side control, you may feel like the bottom person that you have a lot of out. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. Choke now. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Right into side control now. We'll see if she can dole out some damage. A lot of fighters would prefer the half guard. She does pretty good work here. She does great work in the half guard. She's very brutal. She's very heavy. Going for a submission. She moves right into half guard. Without setting up a sub here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There it is. It's in there deep. There you go. All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does. Trying to get that arm underneath the chin. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Now she's in trouble. Job by her there to execute.
execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening, and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 14 seconds of the third round. You're playing the winner by tap out and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Russia. The bantamweight queen retains her title here tonight and a huge effort to get the job done. The belts are piling up at home. She did everything she intended to do in this fight. She knew where she held the advantages, and she stayed in her lane to retain her title. I wonder if she would trade her new belt to you for one of the old ones. She won a lot of the old ones. The old ones were better. I, <laughs> no, actually, no. I won the new Why do you think I'm Don't hanging around? Don't say that. You got, you, you'll have, by the time this game comes out, why you will I, have Why am I holding on to that? A new belt. Yeah, I want the new belt. Yeah, just get one. Just one. <laughs>